today you're going to learn the basics of how to use Microsoft Publisher. This is a great program to use if you want to be really flexible in how you can arrange things on the page. It's going to give you more flexibility than Microsoft Word. First you have to find it. So we're going to click on our little start button and go to all programs. Now it's part of Microsoft Office, so scroll down till you find the Office, click on it, and then you're going to find Publisher. It's going to open up like this and it gives you lots of options. So you're going to see that there are some pre-done applications for you. You could go to calendars. You could go to certificates. There's flyers, there's letterhead, all kinds of great things that you can check out on your own time. For today's lesson, we're going to start with a blank document. Now be careful with your size. You want to pick 8.5 by 11 because that's a regular sheet of paper. We're also going to pick this portrait, not the landscape. Now when it gets open, it just is a blank sheet of paper. There's nothing there. When you're in Word, you're used to just typing right away. But this is like layers, and you have to decide everything you want to put on it. So if I want to put on a picture, I'm going to click on Insert and you'll see picture. If I've already saved the picture in my uh, computer drive, then I can find it and just insert it. Now, I can also find a picture off the internet. I'm going to open up my browser. I've done a Google image search for computers. I can pick a picture and I can drag it on top. And then I can still resize it, I can move it, I can do all kinds of cool things. So you can have as many pictures as you want. You can also do clip art. So I'm going to go to insert, clip art. You're going to type what you want to search for. Maybe I'm going to search for a chef. When I find the one I want, I can drag it over. Resize, move. So adding pictures to a publisher document is really simple and it's a lot easier than in Word. Now, maybe I want to add some text. That would be useful. I'm going to once again come to my insert key and you'll see draw text box. When I click on it, I'm actually going to draw a box where I want the text to go. This box has handles, so I can always resize it and move it and just about anything I want to do. I can also change the font. So now that I'm in my text box, you can see that this tool right here shows me all my text capabilities. So I can pick the font that I want, the size, and I can start typing. I can always make changes by highlighting, change the color, all the things that you know how to do with text, you can do move it, copy it, paste it. I can have more text boxes. So you can have as many text boxes as you want. Now, you might notice as I was typing, it was a little hard to read. That's because we're down here at 68%. So look at the bottom lower left, lower right corner, and you can see your size. I'm going to zoom it in, and then I can see what I want to see. And then if I want to see the whole picture, I can just zoom it out. Now if you want to add some color, you can look at your drawing tools. So right here for this text box, I could actually give it a fill. I could give it a sh an outline. I can Then I can add a shape if I want to. I can also come here to insert and you'll see shapes right here. So if I want to do an arrow, I've got one. And you can always make changes. So I can come back to here, I can change the color, I can change the, the weight of it. So a lot of flexibility. And if I want to do a board around the whole thing, I can take my box here, and I can make it a border. Maybe I want to make it a little bit thicker so you can see that it's right there. And if I want to, I can fill it in. 
now, wait a minute. When I did a fill in, it covered everything. Well, that's because it's layers. So I can just come here where it says bring forward, send backward, and I can send it to the back and everything comes up on top. So you never really have to worry. You don't have to delete or start over again. Just rearrange your layers. You can see I've got some strange little things here. Just gonna delete them. And that's some basics on Publisher. So go ahead and play around with it. Get used to the different features and you'll be ready to start your next assignment.